Dragon alarm! Fire breathing dragon! Dragon alarm! Save the elf tree! Sorry, Ben. We must all help. The elf tree is in danger! Dragons breathe fire! Phew! Looks like everything is under control. Anyway, back to your pet, Ben. What was it you wanted? Uh, it was the dragon. <gasps> you can't have a dragon in your room. He could burn the house down. It's the most dangerous pet you could have in a tree. Apart from woodworm. It's OK, everyone. My son is taking the dragon away. Oh. <laughs> Where can Dave live? How about Gaston's house? Yes, it'll be nice for Gaston to have a friend to stay. Hi, Gaston. <laughs> We've got a visitor for you. <laughs> Look, he's drinking Gaston's water. <laughs> He's sleeping in Gaston's bed. He's making himself at home. <coughs> ben, you don't think Gaston minds sharing his home, do you? No. I think he's pleased to have a new friend. <coughs> Look, Dave got bigger. Oh. We'd better get him out of here while we still can. Hush! <coughs> I see the baby dragon is getting bigger. Yes, Nanny. And it's impossible to find anywhere for him to live. Hmm. He needs to go home. But where is his home? Dragonland, of course. Mind you, it's a long, long way away. My dad can fly us there in the elf plane. He'll be happy to take us. What? Take a fire-breathing dragon on an aeroplane? Never! The dragon's back! Sound the alarm! Ta-da! Told you! He's dressed as a bee. Yes, so if the bees do wake up, they'll think I'm a bee and not sting me. You're fail-safe. Yes, Ben. Now I simply fly into the hive. But you can't fly. That's where the elf helicopter comes in. Lift me up! Lifting! Bees asleep? Check! Bee costume on? Check! Jar for honey? Check! Go, go, go! Now, watch a beekeeper at work. Calm, safe and sensible. I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Lower me in. I'm inside. Take me down. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, all this for a jar of honey. Yes, it's very exciting. Too far. Up a bit. Now left a bit. The bees will wake up soon if he doesn't get a move on. I'm in position. Quick, wise old elf. <laughs> the bees are waking up. Come on, wise old elf. Hurry up. There we are. Done. Calm, safe and sensible. Eh? Ah, nice bees. Uh, just borrowing a bit of honey. Um, I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz. Pull me up! Buzz, buzz, buzz! Pull me up! Mission accomplished! Calm, safe and sensible. What are those bees doing, Nanny? They seem to be following him. Ah! Bee swarm! Get me out of here! Actually, it's just bad news. The marigolds are coming here! Oh, no! It gets worse! I told them someone was doing up the castle for us! Oh, yes? Who's that, then? You! Oh. It's always the same with the marigolds. They're just coming over to laugh at us. Oh, well, I'm sure the wise old elf can do something to make our castle a bit better. Yes, I've got a few ideas already. We can put in plastic windows. 
and add a few garden gnomes. No, no, no! It needs to be super modern. I can do super modern. Concrete, glass, even taps that don't drip. That's more like it. Give me a year and I'll turn this castle into a palace. But the marigolds are coming today! Oh. And they're expecting a modern, open-plan castle. Don't worry, Queen Thistle. I can rebuild your castle. And we can help. Yes! Darling, why don't you go out for a nice walk and leave it with us? Why do I have to go away? Well, it's like one of those shows you see on the telly where you go away and they do your house up in a day and when you come back, it's lovely. Oh, I see. That sounds nice. Bye. Bye. When you come back, you won't recognise the place. Right. What's the plan? It's a big job. Can we get it done by tonight? Maybe, if we bodge it. What does bodge it mean? It's just a term we use in the building trade. Oh. Right. This wall has got to come out for a start. I suppose you know what you're doing. Don't worry. I always get the building inspector to check my work. Who's the building inspector? Me. But how can you inspect your own work? Oh, I'm very strict. Hmm, let me see now. Having some work done, are you? Ah, uh, yes. Dear, oh dear. Who did this for you? <laughs> Hold on! I'm lifting you up! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Gosh, that was amazing. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Biscuit? Ooh, ginger snaps. My favourite. Thank you so much. Think nothing of it, Nanny Plum. It's all in a day's work for Elf Rescue. Thank you, Elf Rescue. Not at all. Whenever you need us, just call. Well, I'd better start fixing me boat. And we'd better go home. Oh, I'm too tired to walk. Shall we fly? That's even more tiring. It's not that far, Nanny Plum. I'd feel better about it if I had a biscuit. Maybe I'll call Elf Rescue. But, Nanny, I don't think Elf Rescue is really for giving people lifts home. Nonsense. The wise old elf said, whenever you need us, just call. Elf Rescue? Hello? Nanny Plum here. I'm stuck by the lake. Stuck, you say? Hang on. We'll be right there. Elf Rescue are go. What seems to be the problem? My legs are tired. Can I have a lift home? What? Nanny Plum, the Elf Rescue Service is for emergencies only. Keep your hair on. Can you give me a lift or not? Mm, this is the way to travel. Tea, biscuits and a great view. Dad, can I have a go at flying? No, Ben. You're not a grown-up. What? Who is this farmer? I'll sort him out. How big is he? Is he as tall as me? He's my dad. Yeah, a big person. And her dad is even bigger. Yes, well, Nanny Plum, come up with a plan. I already have a plan, Your Majesty. Oh, well done. I'll turn him into a frog. You'll turn my dad into a frog? Cool. That's your plan? It's like they always say. To get your own way, turn them into a frog. That doesn't even rhyme. It's a silly plan. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And I absolutely forbid you to... As I was saying, to get your own way, turn them into a frog. Oh, well done, Nanny Plum. The plan does work. Carry on. Right you are, Your Majesty. Even think about doing anything so... Oh, where did Nanny go? He's almost finished the fence. 
Frog time! What? Problem solved. Frogs can't build fences. Um, will my dad be a frog forever? Oh, no. It'll wear off after a while and he'll be back to his old self again. But won't he just start building the fence again? Oh, I never thought of that. Uh-oh. I think the spell is wearing off. Quick, hide! Huh? Where was I? Oh, yes, I was building a fence. It's been ages. How long does it take to turn someone into a frog? Hmm, maybe I should go and see how Nanny Plum is doing. Good idea. Off you go, then. There's a good elf. So, how is the brilliant plan going? I turned the farmer into a frog. Then he turned back again. And he's still building the fence. No worries. I'll turn him into a frog again. Frog time! No! Ugh. It's locked! Speak, friend, and enter. What does that mean? It's a riddle. No entry until you solve the riddle. That's silly. I'll just magic it open. Huh. My magic doesn't work on the door. Yes. Fairy magic and dwarf magic don't mix. Maybe we should just ask nicely. How are you today, Mr. Door? Fine, thank you. Can we come in, please? Speak, friend, and enter. Maybe it means say the word friend. Good idea, Ben. Ahem. <clears throat> friend. Oh, that was easy. Let's go in. Ben and Holly, you wait outside. Aww. The dwarf mine could be dangerous. Then why are you going in? Uh, well, we're grown-ups. Can we go with you? Uh, why not? If you're with us grown-ups, you'll be safe. As long as the door doesn't shut behind us. Oh. Now what do we do? Wand, give me light. Maybe we can say friend again to make the door open. Friend. It's a new riddle this time. Oh, all right. What's the new riddle? If a car with a two-litre engine travels up a 15-degree hill at 10 miles an hour, how much fuel will it use if the hill is 100 metres high? Ah. What if we go this way? Lots and lots of tunnels leading for miles. We'd get lost going that way. If only Gaston was here, he could smell his way out. Good idea. Where is Gaston? Yes, where is good old Gaston? You said you never wanted to see him again. And so did you, Dad. Oh, no. yes. yes. And now Gaston's off somewhere being sad. Oh. Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow! <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm! I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah! A big person! Sound the alarm! Ah! Big person! Oh! Don't they like me? Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Lucy is our friend. Yes, look at her feet. They're far too small to step on anyone. Yes, she does seem a bit small for a big person. Holly shrunk me down. Oh, I see. But Lucy's our friend, whether she is big or small. In that case, we are forgetting our manners. Lucy, would you like to join us for lunch as our special guest? Lunch? Sorry, I just remembered. I'm having a picnic with Mum and Dad. We'll take you back. Come on. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. It's true, darling. There really are elves and fairies. And talking rabbits? Well, 
that's a new one on me, but obviously there are. No, I can't believe it. We must have imagined it all. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Ah! Lucy? Yes. Holly shrunk me down to be a little person today. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, darling? Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't be little forever, just until the morning. I know, you could stay for a sleepover tonight. Oh, wow, could I? Of course, there's lots of room in the little castle. That would be brilliant. Can I? Uh, I think that would be fine. Have a nice time. Great. Bye, Mum and Dad. See you in the morning. Crazy spells for the under fives. <laughs> Spell number one, how to make a storm. Ooh. What a day. Where's Granny now? Uh, she's with the twins. Oh, is that such a good idea? After me, wave your wands. <laughs> Wandy. No wands? Oh, of course. Mummy and Daddy knew best and took your wands away. Never mind. Here's mine. Wandy. Say, thunder, thunder, thunder. Thunder, thunder, thunder. <laughs> That's it. I wonder if that had something to do with Granny. Hello, is Holly coming out to play? Hello, Ben. She'll be down in a minute. Did you hear the storm last night? Hear it? It was in our bedroom. A storm in a bedroom? Cool. It was a magical storm. Good morning, Mother. I already know the answer to this, but who showed them how to make a magical storm? Me. What a surprise. Only a little indoor weather, darling. Nothing to worry about. What else did you teach them? Oh, just a few harmless little spells. Hi, everyone. Hello, Holly. Morning, Ben. Ah, why are there two Hollies? Daisy and Poppy did a spell on me. We asked them not to, but they did it anyway. This is what happens when Daisy and Poppy do magic. So, it's a little doubling spell. No harm done. It's not like there's ten Hollies. Morning. 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 And if there were, wouldn't that be nice? Wandy, Wandy! Where did they get the wand from? Oh, it seems to be my wand. Bye-bye! <laughs> Relax, Mrs Elf. There's nothing to worry about with me in charge. Now, children, let's... <laughs> <gasps> they've made the Queen disappear. All they've left is her panties. Children, what have you done with the Queen? Gone. All gone. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Queen Thistle. The toddlers have magicked me somewhere, but I'll be back as soon as I've worked out where I am. You'll have to take the class until I get back. Oh, OK. Bye. Mrs Elf, you're the teacher now. Yes. Don't panic, Mrs Elf. You can do this. You're in charge. Uh, maybe we should take away their wands. Good idea, Ben. Right, everyone. We are going to play a game. It's called Hide the Wands. We'll take the wands and hide them in this drawer. Good. Now, let's draw a lovely picture. What shall we draw? Butterflies? Bunny rabbits? Dinosaurs. Our queen like dinosaurs. Oh, OK. Big teeth. <laughs> Good. Now use your imaginations. Let's all close our eyes and imagine what it would be like in the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? It's keeping them happy and quiet. Imagine the fiery volcanoes and thick jungle and dinosaurs. Pretend you're really there. What was that? I think the school moved. Daisy, Poppy, did you just do something? It's all right, Holly. They're being very good. 
and it's nearly home time. How lovely and quiet. Why is it so different today? It's time to pick up the twins. Ah, the twins. That's why it's quiet. The elf engine isn't working. We can fix it. Elves are good at... No, no, no. It can't be fixed. The engine has run out of fuel. Oh, and what kind of fuel does it use? I can't say. I demand to know. It's a secret. Wise old elf, what fuel does the elf engine use? Oh, it's... Mud. M mud? No, it's... Mud. Mu Mustard? M Marshmallows? M M Melted cheese? M M M magic! <gasps> magic? Are you saying the great elf engine is run on magic? Yes. But you hate magic! Yes. But it has a small carbon footprint and it never stops. Except today. Yes. Because today is no magic day. There must be another way to run the factory. Yes, the emergency power. Of course, the emergency power. But that's just a hamster wheel. It is the emergency power unit. All elves on the hamster wheel will power the factory by foot. Can we help? Good idea, Holly. But, Your Majesty, this is elf work, not fairy work. We're all in it together. You helped us this morning. Now we can help you. All for one and one for all. Yeah, I suppose. Thank you, everyone. Factory is working again! Hooray! Let's hope we get these toys done in time! Yes! The day is nearly over! Ah! The magic is back! And the elf engine is working again! To put the legs on! Legs? All Viking boats had legs! Duck legs. Duck legs? And we're going to change the dragon's head for, um... A hippopotamus head that breathes fire! <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Well, it's been nice meeting you. I'd better be going. Are we really going to put those things on our boat? No, that was just so the spy will tell Nanny Plum. And she'll build a very silly boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back! Ah! An elf! No, it's me! The elf's boat is really, really big! No problem! We can do big! And we need duck legs! Oh, really? Then duck legs it is! Ah. And a hippopotamus head at the front <laughs> that breathes fire! Are you sure it looks right? Hmm. Maybe we should add chicken wings. <laughs> That's better. Come on, let's take it for a walk. Walkies! <laughs> what an awful noise. Morning, wise old elf. How do you like our boat? <laughs> it looks a bit funny, if you ask me. It is a traditional Viking boat. Oh, no, it isn't. I'll show you a traditional Viking boat. Mr Elf, please bring out our boat. right -o. Oh! What's wrong? We can't get the boat through the door. It's too big. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. I suppose you want some fairy help getting it out. Yes, please. Here, boy. <whistles> Fetch! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, I suppose we might be able to fix it in time. Oh. Nime. The King. Mr King. What was your last job? The King. The King. Any skills? Being King. Mm, we don't have a King job right now. Um, we need a toy factory worker or a farmer 
or a sailor? Ooh, Daddy, sailor sounds fun. Yes, I like messing about in boats. You will be a sailor on our brand new ship, Your Majesty. It's the King! Hooray! I'm not the King today. I'm just a humble sailor. But we need a king to launch our new ship. Oh, all right then. I'll just be a king for a moment. I declare this ship launched. Hurrah! Now treat me like any new sailor. OK. You can mop the deck. Right. You're doing very well, Daddy. It's rather dull. Why don't I speed things up with some magic? No, Daddy. The elves don't like magic. <sighs> Your job looks fun. Let's swap. Of course, Your Majesty. Much better. Oh, this is fun. Where to starboard? Which way starboard? Why can't they just say left or right? We've hit a rock! Commandant ship! Hello, Your Majesty. How's everything going? Very well. But that ship wasn't strong enough. Have you got another one? Maybe you're not cut out to be a sailor, Your Majesty. What other jobs did the elf lady say I could do? The toy factory, Daddy. That would be fun. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble factory worker like you lot. But we need a king to inspect the toys. OK, I'll be king for a second. <coughs> it's perfect. was right. This is the jungle. Good. Now to find Redbeard. Gaston, well, find Redbeard. Remember, he smells like old socks. Well, oh, oh. <laughs> Good boy. This way. Ooh, look at that statue. Hmm, some kind of ancient god, I suppose. We must be getting close to the lost city. Look at this crazy orange plant. Ah, yes. The proper name is Heliconia jacquinii. And this one's called Chrysanthemum locanthemum. How did you know that? It's on the label. Oh, how odd. This statue's labelled too. And this one. This plant's got a price on it. $4.99. That's good. Something very strange is going on here. Yes, some madman has gone through the jungle labelling everything. Ah! It's raining. It's not rain. It's a big person with a watering can. This isn't the jungle. This is a garden centre. <laughs> Gaston's brought us to the wrong place. Poor Redbeard is hundreds of miles away in the real jungle. Ugh, and we're stuck in a garden centre. Hello. Hello? Are you nearly here? Uh, we're a bit far from the jungle. Oh, yes. Whereabouts? Right now, we're in a garden centre in a pot of daffodils. Daffodils? Oh, yes! I can see you! What? I'm inside! Look through the doors! Look after that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And that leg. And... Mum! Gaston's hurt himself! Oh, dear! You better bring him straight in. I didn't expect to see you back so soon, Gaston. <coughs> it's a bit sore, isn't it? <coughs> I'll bandage it for you. And I'll sprinkle on a little fairy dust, just to make it heal quickly. There. Gaston scratching it. No, Gaston, you mustn't scratch it or it won't get better. I'll just pop on this plastic collar. Now he can't scratch it. <coughs> Sorry, Gaston. Here's another sticker for being so brave. Well. <coughs> Be careful now. I don't want to see you back here again. 
Mrs. Elf, have you got the holiday tickets? Yes, here they are. Good. Throw them down to me. Oh, I'm not sure that's such a good idea, Mr. Elf. You might not catch them. <laughs> I'll catch them. OK, if you're sure. You see, elves are great at catching and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Why has Gaston got that big collar on? Don't laugh, Dad. You'll upset Gaston. Sorry, Gaston. Here are the car keys. Shall I bring them down? <laughs> Just throw them to me, Mrs Elf. If you're sure. <laughs> Gaston caught the keys. Gaston's great at catching, even with that collar on. Yes. Uh, well done, Gaston. Give me the car keys back now. <laughs> oh, he's swallowed the keys. The keys are in Gaston's tummy. <gasps> Stop that, Mr Elf. But he's swallowed the car keys. Now, let's all show Gaston how we walk with a lead. Nice and upright. That's it. Do you want to have a go, Gaston? No, don't talk to Gaston like that. Who's the boss here? Well, I've always thought of Gaston as a friend. You're the boss, so show him that. Gaston, heel. Knees up, Gaston. Chin in the air. Don't slouch. Good boy, Gaston. What a good boy. Now you do it, Mr Thistle. Ah, uh, heel? Not bad, but louder. Heel! OK, to the obstacle course, everyone. Don't dilly-dally. Now the seesaw. Very good. Through the tunnel. Excellent. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh. Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha-ha. <laughs> no harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Gaston is going to shake himself dry. <gasps> Sorry, Miss Jolly. <laughs> You're a mucky pup, aren't you, Gaston? But next time, you will jump over! Now, who'd like to show us all a trick? Ah, this is such a wonderful planet. Have you been to other planets on holiday? Oh, yes, but this is best. You see, we are quite small, and on most planets, everyone is big. I see. Yes. We go to other planets for lovely, relaxing holiday and get stepped on by big people. It is not nice. Uh, there are some big people here too. Big people here? Hello. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Big people. Don't worry, it's only our friend Lucy. She's a big girl. Lucy, these are aliens. They're here on holiday. <laughs> Hello, aliens. You are big, aren't you? Are there more like you? There's my mum and dad. We're having a picnic over there. So, there are three big people on this planet. Oh, no. There's loads. Millions and millions. Most of them bigger than me. Hmm. Perhaps it is time for end of holiday. OK. Let's go and see if your flying saucer is mended. Ah, just in time. I've mended the flying saucer. Well done, wise old elf. All those tubes and things made it a bit like plumbing. And elves are good at plumbing. Thank you. I will now start the engine. Oh, 
That's not right. It sounds like a fairy car on a cold day, Daddy. Yes, it does. A bit of magic always helps start the fairy car. No! You must never mix magic and plumbing. Oh, nonsense. Sounds good. Thanks to me being an excellent plumber. Thanks to my magic fairy dust, you mean. Now, now, let's say elf skill mended the engine and fairy magic got it started. <laughs> Who's going diving? Good luck, me plucky little pumpkin. <laughs> what am I doing? Deep sea diving in a goldfish bowl. Look for the treasure chest. Oh, it's just a plastic toy. I don't even think it opens. Ooh. It's real treasure. <laughs> Captain Squid said I'd never find his treasure. I'd like to see his face now. Redbeard, fancy meeting you here. Oh, hello, Captain Squid. When I set sail, I found my treasure map was missing. Was it really? So I came back. I was worried some rascal might try and steal my treasure. Yes, yes, that would be very bad if someone tried to steal your treasure. I've got the treasure, Mr Redbeard. Why, you double-crossing old sea dog. Uh, I can explain. Treachery with a smile on its face. It's all right, Captain Squid. I found your map on the ground. Redbeard was worried about your treasure, so we came to make sure it was safe. Yes, uh, that's right. Just check it over, like. Oh, well, that's, that's different. But you must admit it was a good hiding place, wasn't it? Aye, very good. A children's fish tank. Best hiding place ever. Oh, but now you all know where it is. I better hide it again. If you could all close your eyes. Thank you. OK, you can look now. Where have you hidden the treasure? Somewhere in the world. Well, it can't be that far away. You were only gone for a second. No one will ever, ever find it. It's guarded by a ferocious beast. Ooh! <laughs> School starting! <laughs> All right, Acorn Class, yes. settle down. Lucy, could you please feed Fluffy the hamster? Yes, Miss Cookie. <coughs> oh, look what I found. Let's get your hair brushed, Holly. <sighs> and here's your crown. All done. <sighs> Mornings are such hard work. <laughs> Hello, Nanny Plum. What is it, Ben? I haven't got time to be answering the door to elves. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to... Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new watch. Wow. Is it a real watch? Yes. You can hear it ticking. Oh, yes. Can you tell the time, Ben? Not yet, but we're going to learn how to tell the time at school today. Yes. Well, I'm sure you don't want to be late. I'm an elf. Elves are never late. <coughs> Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. I wish I had a watch. Whatever for, Princess Holly? If I had a watch, I could tell the time. We fairies don't need watches. We have different ways of telling the time. Like what, Nanny? We have dandelion clocks. Here's a good one. How can a dandelion tell the time? We count how many puffs it takes to blow away all the seeds. Like this. <gasps> one. <gasps> two. <gasps> three. It took three puffs. That means... Three o'clock. <laughs> I want to go. One. That means one o'clock. Wow. So is it really one o'clock? <laughs> Not really. It's just a game. But Ben's learning to... 
Mr. Alf is on holiday, having fun. Stuck on a desert island. I am so bored. Do try and relax, darling. I can't. I need something to do. That's not relaxing. It is for me. I relax by being very busy. Maybe I'll explore the island. I could work out how big it is. Do you think there'll be anyone else on the island? No, I don't think so. <gasps> Footsteps. <gasps> so something does live here. Yes, a wild beast. Let's follow its tracks and find it. All right, but we must take care. The wild beast might be dangerous. The tracks lead to this bush. There's something in there. The wild beast. It's Gaston! Yeah! How did you get here? What's that? You hid in the plane, swam ashore when we weren't looking, and hid in the bushes, you say? Clever Gaston! But I thought I said no pets! Gaston could be useful, Dad! Gaston, we need food. Can you find some? <laughs> Gaston's good at sniffing out food. <gasps> A coconut! It's huge! Yes, enough food and drink to last us for weeks. Well done, Gaston. Stand clear! Hooray! You know, this holiday isn't so bad after all. I shall call this place Elf Island. Ben and Holly have been gone for ages. I do miss them. Me too. Oh, what's that? It's a message in a bottle. <gasps> it's from Ben. It says, trapped on a desert island... Bunny Rabbit. Now, now, Daisy. That wasn't very nice. Bunny Rabbit! What's going on? Bunny Rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. <laughs> Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> wow! Look at all those rabbits! That one's wearing my dad's hat! Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity! They've turned all the elves into rabbits! Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty Catty! Meow. Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow! <laughs> Birdy Wordy! Birdy Wordy! Creep, creep, creep. Phew! Do you think that's it? Yes. Luckily, birds can't hold wands. <laughs> Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Puppy have been doing a bit of magicking. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. What's that, darling? We've been invited to visit King and Queen Marigold this evening. Oh, dear. King and Queen Marigold are boring and snooty. They always make me feel like a country bumpkin. So why are we visiting them? Because they invited us. And I didn't know how to say no. I'm good at that sort of thing. Leave it with me. Queen Marigold, King Thistle here. I'm terribly sorry, but Queen Thistle and I can't come tonight. Oh, no. 
We were so looking forward to seeing you. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. But tonight we're going to, um, uh, a music concert. What kind of music? Uh, um, elf music. Elf music? Oh, I don't believe I've heard of elf music. Oh, uh, yes. It's rather good, actually. Oh, King Marigold and I love good music. Ah, uh, I know. We'll come to you. Oh. See you tonight. Toodle pip. Oh. <coughs> Everything all right, darling? There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? We're not visiting King and Queen Marigold. Hooray! So, what's the bad news? They're coming to see us instead. Oh, no! And they're expecting a concert of elf music. What? And I've, um, told them that elf music sounds good. Oh, but the elf band sound terrible. They're the only elf music we've got. They're an embarrassment. They don't sound that bad. The last time they played, you said it was disgusting. Well, maybe they've got better. Nanny! Little, little. Ah, uh, Daisy, Poppy, give Daddy your wands. Little, little. Help! Wow, they've made King Thistle really small. Daisy, Poppy, that wasn't funny or clever. Little, 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 little. <laughs> ah, they've made us little. Don't worry, our magic is back to normal size. I just need my wand. My wand's too heavy. I can't lift it. Maybe we should call Nanny Plum. Good idea, Ben. I'll ring the bell. Da da dum, do da di da, da la la di da 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 da. We need to pull harder. Di da di. Oh. I wonder what they want. <sighs> Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum! Eh? We're here! <gasps> Why are you so tiny? Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly. It's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum, but it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby, baby dolly! Baby, baby dolly. dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum. It's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> oh, no! They've changed nappy. This is my school. Wow! So many big children. Stay hidden. We mustn't be seen. Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning, Miss Cookie. Cookie. Today we are learning about wonderful things in nature, like Fluffy, our hamster. Who knows what kind of animal Fluffy is? A hamster? Yes, but what sort of animal is a hamster? Oh, he's a mammal. Is he a mammal? Yes. Well done, Lucy. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Goodness. I think we'll just stick with Fluffy. Oh, no! Gaston smelt the bananas. He likes bananas. Gaston, here, boy. Stop. Come back. Nature is all around us. Like this pretty little insect. Does anyone know what she's called? Gaston, and he's a boy. <laughs> Very funny, Lucy. Is it a ladybird? Yes, or you could call her a ladybug. And what does she eat? Gaston likes pies. And spaghetti bolognese. Pies and spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ladybirds eat things like green flies. Let's keep the ladybird in this jar. Oh, no! Gaston's trapped. We'll let her go later. 
I hope Gaston will be all right. Don't worry. I'll get him out of the jar. But you'll be seen. It's all right, Ben. I'll be very careful. Miss Cookie, there's a fairy walking across my desk. A fairy? Let's have a look. Nanny, the teacher's coming. Pretend to be a toy. Oh, yes, I'm a toy. Oh, a little fairy godmother. Whose toy is this? Um, it's mine. Do you remember what our rule is? No toys in class. That's right. I'll pop the dolly in my drawer and you can have it back at the end of the lesson. Bobby? The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she is your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent! And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. We'll groom Speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. <laughs> Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Lappin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. Now, before we ride the blighters, they need some nosh. What's nosh? Food. Everybody take some vegetables and hold them out for the snails. Here's a carrot, Robin Hood. Here you go, Bobby. A lovely cabbage leaf. They like fresh vegetables. They're so hungry. Oh, yes. They'd eat all day if you let them. <laughs> Now, time for the riding. Everybody choose a snail. Oh, can I ride Bobby, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm on a snail. Ahem. There was a little problem in the kitchen and I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle for one day, Your Majesties. Sorry. Oh. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Hang on. If you've stopped all the magic in the castle, why is the TV still working? Uh, the TV's not magic. Isn't it? Really? Oh. oh! If there's no magic today, how can I make Ben a birthday card? Well, you could make the card by hand. Really? Could I? And I can help you. Uh, Nanny Plum, I think you'll be busy cleaning up the kitchen. That will take but a moment with my fairy magic wand. But there isn't any magic. You've stopped all the magic for one day. Oh, yes. <laughs> this will be fun. Mmm. This will be fun too. I think I'll start with a picture of Ben. <laughs> it's easy doing things without magic. Yes, really easy. Now, lots of kisses for Ben. And some sparkly glitter. There. Lovely. Yes, it's amazing what can be done without using magic. Yes, Nanny Plum, it is. <laughs> <laughs> now quick, or you'll be late for Ben's birthday party. <laughs> A 
an exact copy. Ooh. Now for Dolly Plum. Um, actually, I've changed my mind. Can you put me down, please? I don't think I want to do this today. Thank you. Thank you, Nanny. You just have. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> it does a bit, Nanny. Dolly Plum. It's a perfect copy. Yes, and now that we've copied Nanny, we can make as many as we want. Hold on. Let's stick to one, just to keep the twins happy. I quite agree. One Nanny Plum is quite enough. Fine. Now, will someone please magic me back again? OK, Nanny. Oh, that's better. Now I can get on with my work. My Dolly! Dolly! My Dolly! My Dolly. Dolly. <laughs> oh, dear. They want a Dolly each. Where? But we promised Nanny Plum we'd only make one. One more wouldn't <laughs> hurt. Just to keep the twins happy. <laughs> my Dolly. My Dolly. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Ooh, look. It's a Nanny Plum doll. I'm Dolly Plum. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Where did you get her? She's really funny. Can I have one? Me too. Me too. Oh, we're only supposed to make one, and I've already made two. Please. <laughs> well, I suppose it's all right to make a few more. You. Hello, Hello. I'm Dolly. Hello, Your Majesty. It's so sweet. Oh, what's this? Whatever. Just give it a polish. I am the genie of the lamp. Oh, he's very manly. <laughs> I will grant you three wishes. What should we wish for? Why don't you dance for us? <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> I wish for loud music. Very well. <laughs> I wish we had a big party with all of us dancing. That is your third and final wish. But you have used up your three wishes. Bye-bye. Oh, no. I don't want to dance forever. Let's go and see King Thistle. He can sort it out. How are you doing in there, darling? I'm hungry. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, how does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Oh, dear. I don't know what to do. Let me help. I am a magic mirror, after all. Oh! There you go. Sorted. That's horrid. Change my hair back. No, it looks great. King Vessel, do something. Nobody will notice your hair. Come on, let's go to dinner. No, no. I can't go out like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get a snack. Now then, what would be a lovely, tasty snack? Aha! Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm, jam. Help! Help! What on earth is that awful racket? Pink thistle! Pink thistle! I wish for a big party and now I can't stop dancing! Hello, everyone. It's only us. Oh, Ben and Holly. But you're big. Holly magicked us big. And we're going to stay big. That's very nice. But would you mind lifting your foot up? Oh, I stepped on you. Sorry, Mr Mayor. That's quite all right, Princess Holly. But if you're going to stay big, you'll need to watch those feet of yours. Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny! Bye, 
Bye, everyone. Bye. Home time. And that's my mum. See you tomorrow. Feet, feet, feet. Oops, that was close. Sorry. Bye. 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 Okay, Mum, it's me. Oh, Ben! How did you get so big? Holly magicked me bigger. Well, you can't come inside like that. Can Holly make you small again? I don't want her to. I've decided to stay big forever. Oh, well, it's your life, I suppose. Do you want some dinner? Yes, please. You've got a lovely large pie for dinner today. There you go. Haven't you got anything bigger? What are you talking about? That's a huge pie. Uh, I think my tummy is a bit bigger than it was. Well, your tummy might have to go without. I'm used to feeding Ben the elf, not Ben the giant. Oh, no, no, no. Hello, I'm home. Ah, a giant! A giant! No! Daddy, it's me. My goodness, Holly. What happened to you? I magicked myself big and I want to stay big forever. Ah! <laughs>